Hello statisticians! In section 7.3 we're going to make a minor adjustment to working with the normal distribution and that's that we're going to be working with a sample with a calculated mean. This is going to change the standard deviation slightly by dividing the standard deviation by the square root of the sample size. So our command is going to look very similar in Excel. Equals norm.dist. Instead of x, we now have x bar, which is just the mean of our sample, comma, the mean of the population, comma, our standard deviation with the central limit theorem adjustment that has to be divided by the square root of the sample size. This will calculate the standard error to use in this place, comma, and then we'll still use true. So for this first example, we've got a mean height of 60 inches with a standard deviation of 2.4 inches on the population. That again is our mu and our sigma. Now we're going to take a sample of 30 people, that's our sample size, in, and we want them to have an average height of less than 59 inches. That's our sample x bar. So if I draw my little picture with an average of 60 in the middle, 59 is off to the left of it, and we want the height to be less than that, so we want the left tail. Just like before, we'll start with equals norm.dist, open a parenthesis, and we're going to start with the x bar of 59, comma, the mean of the population, 60, comma, and for the standard deviation, this is where we use the central limit theorem formula and take the standard deviation of 2.4 and we divide by the square root of the sample size with sqrt, open a parenthesis, and the sample size for this example we said was 30. Close the parentheses on the square root and we'll do comma true. Close the parentheses on the normal distribution, and when we hit enter, we find out the probability that a sample of 30 people having an average height of less than 59 inches has only a 0 0.01124 probability. If we instead take a sample of 20 people, that's our n, and we want them to have an average height greater than 62, that's our x bar, we'll draw our picture with 60 in the middle. 62 is off to the right, and we want the right tail. Again, Excel will only do left tails, so what we're going to have to do is use the complement and do 1 minus. We'll say equals 1 minus, and then our norm.dist, open a parenthesis, the value we're interested in is 62, comma, the mean of the population is 60, comma, we have to adjust the standard deviation using the central limit theorem, which says we take the standard deviation of 2.4 and divide by the square root, sqrt, open a parenthesis, of the sample size 20. Close the parenthesis on the square root, comma, and then we always end with true. Close the parenthesis on the whole thing, and because we did 1 minus, we have our complement, and this complement says 9.6970. Be careful here, probabilities must always be less than 1. If I have a probability of 9.69, I know something is up. What I need to watch out for is that e negative 5, which tells me that this is in scientific notation. I need to move that decimal point 5 places to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which gives me four zeros in front. So my probability here is point zero 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 zero. 9697. Very, very small probability that we would have 20 people with an average height of greater than 62 inches. This last example says we're going to have a sample size of 10 people this time. If I draw my picture with 60 in the middle, we want these 10 people to have an average height between 58 and 63. Just like we found before, we can find that between value by subtracting the two probabilities. We'll say equals norm.dist, open a parenthesis, the larger one of 63, comma, has a mean of 60, comma, adjusting the standard deviation for a sample size of 10, we do 2.4, divided by sqrt, open a parenthesis for 10, close the parenthesis on the square root, 
comma, true. Close the parentheses on the normal distribution function. That gives us the area to the left of 63, but we need to get rid of the area to the left of 58. So we'll subtract norm.dist, open a parentheses, we want 58, comma, with a mean of 60, comma, standard deviation, adjusted for the sample size of 10, so we do 2.4 divided by the square root of 10, close the parentheses on the square root, comma, true. Close the parentheses on the whole thing, and when we subtract those two probabilities, we find there's a 99.58% chance, or 0.9958 chance, that 10 people will have an average height between 58 and 63 inches. The only difference we see here with the central limit theorem is we have to adjust that standard deviation argument by dividing by the square root of the sample size.